If you've ever seen a tree with green prickly fruit like this, chances are that fruit was from either a horse chestnut or a buckeye tree. Now all horse chestnuts and buckeyes are in a genus called Esculus, and trees in that genus are really easy to identify because they have very distinctive leaves and fruits. So I'm going to tell you about a few species of buckeyes and horse chestnut and how to identify them. One thing that I want to mention before we start is that all of the trees in the genus Esculus have toxic seeds, so you can eat them, even though they might be called horse chestnuts, they're actually not edible, so whatever you do, don't eat these. The horse chestnut is a very common street tree. I just found this one along the side of a road. Horse chestnuts have palmately compound leaves, and what that means is each of these, that you might think is a leaf, is actually a leaflet, and this whole thing is the leaf. And you can see the leaves are actually quite wide, um, especially towards the end of the leaf, and then they suddenly come to a tip, quite suddenly. So that's a horse chestnut leaf. These weird prickly looking things are the fruits of the horse chestnut. So if you were to open these inside, you would find a glossy seed, um, which is toxic. Despite being called a horse chestnut, it is toxic to humans and horses. Uh, apparently, Native Americans would crush up that toxic seed and throw it into water to kind of stun fish. So they would use it to help them catch fish. In Britain, the seed of the horse chestnut is called a conker and it's used in a game where you tie a string to the seed and then you have a friend also tie a string to a seed and you try to hit each other's seeds and break them. You can find videos of this on YouTube, it's very entertaining. This tree is called a red horse chestnut. It's actually a hybrid of the regular horse chestnut and a different tree that's a small kind of shrub-like tree called the red buckeye. It's actually summer now, but I found one small um, set of flowers left on this tree. But in the spring, the red horse chestnut is going to have a bunch of these pink flowers. It's very pretty, and that's why it's really commonly planted as a street tree in the United States. It's got these really beautiful flowers. Um, also, it doesn't have fruits right now, but when red horse chestnuts have fruits, they're going to be a lot smoother than just your normal horse chestnut. This tree is called an Ohio buckeye. The leaves of the Ohio buckeye are quite a bit thinner than the leaves of the horse chestnut. I've read in a few places that the leaves and fruits of the Ohio buckeye are malodorous, which is just a fancy way of saying that they smell bad. Um, the leaves didn't smell bad to me, but if you find a tree, you can smell it and decide for yourself. The fruits on the Ohio buckeye are prickly, just like they are on the horse chestnut, but you can see that the prickles are a lot shorter on the Ohio buckeye. The Ohio buckeye is actually the state tree of Ohio. This is the yellow buckeye tree. The leaves of the yellow buckeye usually have five leaflets. Um, also, the easiest way to tell this tree apart from the horse chestnut and the Ohio buckeye is that its fruits are smooth instead of prickly. So that's a really easy way to tell the difference. The yellow buckeye is sometimes called the sweet buckeye. Um, but just like all other horse chestnuts and buckeyes, the fruits and seeds are poisonous. The yellow buckeye is pretty rare where I live in Utah, but if you live in Ohio or in the Appalachian or Appalachian mountain area, it's common there. <laughs> 